Hey you one and all, this is Super Zemus and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Alright, last time we trekked our way through the... Trekked our way through? I... Never mind viewers, we made it all the way to the inner passage of the Giant of Babylon. We're off to destroy its core, but... Well, first off viewers, if we take a look at Rydia's stats here, she's about to gain a level. And I really want to gain a level before the next battle here, so <clears throat> what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to murder these guys right here, right now. I'm probably just going to use Leviathan. Leviathan's strong enough to kill them, but I don't think the Searcher's going to die, so maybe I should uh, kill off that. Yeah, yeah, Cecil, can you attack that? No, no, I guess not. I don't think Leviathan's strong enough to one-shot the Searchers, so I need a little extra power, so... Yeah, that's what I thought. And now he's gonna alert to something else. Eh, of course, man, that's no problem. Die. Well, it is a robot. Can a robot exactly die? Wait, we've been through this last... We, we went through this last episode, didn't we? Why am I asking this? Well, anyway, viewers, I'm just gonna do this on screen just to show you that I'm this close to getting Rydia up to the next level, so I might as well just do it right now, so... Get a good amount of EXP there, and just one more battle, and we'll be able to go on. So I'm just gonna find that other battle, and we'll... Don't worry, viewers, we're not gonna be grinding like this. It's just a little bit of grinding, just so I can get Rydia up to the next level. It's very important I do this, and I'll show you why. Alright, and since the Searcher took a little damage from Edge, Leviathan should kill it. So, come on, Rydia! This should do it. Short Circuit! Good job, Leviathan. Alright, now that we got it, um, those two down, Rydia gains a level, and she learns Lightning 3. That'll be very useful in the coming battle here, so... I could heal up, but, uh, nah, nah, I'll be fine. Maybe I'll just use Cure. Nah, a long. Where, where's the other long? Why, what's going on here? Well, at least it's a, at least it's a straight, narrow path here, and what, what's going on? What the? Rubicon? What are you doing here? I thought we killed you. Hey, I know you. We killed you! We killed you! They're all here! Rubicon, Vivalis, Kainatso, and Millen! What are they all doing here? Uh, uh, didn't we kill you already once? What's going on? How'd this happen? Rubicon, you have some splaining to do! Oh, I see. So Zemis was behind all this. Uh, first he takes my name, then he summons the giant of Babil, and then he brings back the four fiends. Oh, I l I'm gonna love this fight, viewers. Well, you're still the bad guy, so the... The plot isn't exactly on your side, so... Just so you know, the if the plot's on your side, you'll win, but... Alright, viewers, this is it. The final battle with the Four Fiends. Oh, this is probably one of my favorite battles in the game. I don't know why. It's just you get to refight all of them. So, starting out off with Millen. So, let's just use good attacking there. And he's just as weak to, um... He's just as weak to, uh... Fire as he was before. So, slow isn't gonna do us too much good. So, might as well just cast fast on everyone. So, Rosa, you can cast fast. And we want, uh... We want Rydia to, uh, cast Fire 3, and Fasoya to cast Fire 3, so we'll get fast on Rosa so she can cast fast on, uh, Fasoya and Rydia. Those are the two I really care about. Rydia and Fasoya are gonna be our main source of damage, so... <laughs> yes! Ah, great curse. Well, it's on Rosa, so I'm not too worried about that. Alright, this should be the last one. Come on, Fasoya! Hurry up! There we go. Alright, now I want to cast fast on Rydia. Because, uh, Fasoya takes long enough anyway to cast magic, so... Anyway, let's just... 
attack Rubicon now. I like how they handle this battle too, is that, uh, well, I don't want to spoil it how they uh, later on, but anyway, um, also viewers, all, uh, we're gonna fight all four, obviously. Spoiler alert, we're fighting all four fiends in one battle. But how this works is that, um, they're all gonna be in their, uh, most, their most powerful form. So, Rubicon has its cloak undone, uh, Kainatsu is gonna have water, all, and they're always gonna be like that, too. So, Kainatsu will always have water at his feet, uh, Vivalis will always have her tornado form, so, yeah, it's always gonna be like that. But because of that, they're going to be most susceptible to their respective elements. So, let's cast Ice 3. You call that fire? You suck, Rubicon. I thought you got better since last time. Obviously not. Anyway, uh, another Ice 3. Uh, where is it? There it is. Get Ice 3 going twice, and that should kill him off. Hopefully. He might... R Rubicon does have a little bit of HP, so... Hopefully, though, because of Edge and Cecil, we should have enough damage by now, so... Or, enough to kill him with Ice 3, but... You suck, Rubicon! That was your glare attack! That was supposed to deal a lot of damage! Ah, didn't kill him? Alright, Cure 3! Alright, this should do it. There we go! Kainatsu! Alright, so now what we want to do is... This is the reason why I got Lightning 3, because... Um, Kainatsu is going to be extremely weak to it. Anyway, Fasoya, come on! Don't have all day, Fasoya. Yeah, Cure 3 heals a lot of HP, so that's really nice. Alright, Fasoya, Lightning 3. Man. You guys are so powerful, I tell ya. Love the black magic in this battle. I, and I don't know why I love it. It's a relative... Or not relatively. It is an easy battle. This is a really easy battle. I, but... It just... For some reason, but... Alright, now the final one. Vivalis. And I like how they handled it. Where they put it in the Elemental Archfiends in the order of how you fought them in Final Fantasy 1. So, remember Lich, Merilith... Or, Lich, Merilith, Kraken, and uh, Tiamat. Well, that's the order they do it in. So it's, uh, uh, Earth, Fire, Water, and Wind. I like how they handle that. And they don't put it in the order how it was in this game, but in Final Fantasy 1, that was the order you fought the four elemental archfiends. I like how they handle that. It's a nice, it's a, it's a nice touch. Anyway, Vivalis is extremely weak to lightning, so. Just like, um, Kainatsu. So, that's another reason why I got lightning 3, because it's the most useful, uh, most useful spell in this battle. So, yeah, and good thing about uh, Vivalis is that being in her uh, tornado form, she is extremely, uh, she has extremely bad uh, defense. I mean, you saw the damage uh, uh, Cecil just did there. Over 4,000. It was ridiculous. So, yeah, she has terrible defense and terrible HP because we killed him. Yay! Well, I mean, they're pro- they seem weaker than before, I mean, I think the only difference really is the fact that they have more HP, but you suck, guys! you think they'd train a little bit more before they fought me again, but obviously not, they just decided to go wimpy wimpy on it. And they all died. Don't mess with me! It's two times now! You gonna be like a guinea pig there? Just you never learn? Of course I'm the master. I mean, I have the chosen one and plots on my side. You also gotta remember that, Elemental Archfiends, is that if you want to make sure the plots on your side, if plots not on your side, you're not gonna win. If plots on your side, you will win. So that that's rule of thumb, viewers. You only win if plots on your side. But all right, so we're all healed up after that battle. Time to finish this off, viewers. The CPU. Here we are! The core! Whoa! Whoa, holy crap! Okay, stop! Stop! No noise! The noise! Make it stop! Nah, nah. The defensive system? Yeah, make sure you pay attention to what Fasoya says here, because it's very useful here. We have to fight the CPU! 
Now we know which one's the defender. So yeah, you want to take out the defender. Make sure you take that one out immediately. Then we want to get fast going on everyone. So Rosa, yourself, and then Fasoya. Um... So yeah, as you can see there, the CPU, it casts wall on itself. That's no good. So what you want to do to override that is you want to use Silk. So that'll de that will heal um, your HP from uh, Mazer there. That'll heal all your HP. And yeah, as you can see there, that gets kind of annoying. And it but and Silk also bypass a uh, wall. So make sure you remember that. Uh, now I want to cast fast on Pasoya so they can get fast going on Rydia and. Cecil, so, yeah, this will get past the, uh, wall stat there. It's really annoying, but, so, you can't use any black magic in this battle, unfortunately. But, yeah, make sure you, t uh, kill off the defender, but do not kill off both the attacker and the defender. If you do that, the CPU will start using an ability called Object 199. Wait, what about Object 200? Now that's gonna bother my OCD. But, uh, anyway, viewers, it, what Object 199 does, it basically deals 9,999 damage to one party member, and he uses that, like, three times, so it's very annoying there. Alright, Soya had it, Rydia's next. Yeah, so, and then after he uses 199, Object 199 a lot, he'll just revive both the attacker and defender, so it's not gonna get you very far, so you wanna make sure... You do not kill off the attacker. Keep the attacker alive. Alright, Cecil, you can have it. Yeah, and Silk deals a lot of damage, thankfully. I mean, it, it heals up a lot of HP, deals a lot of damage. Basically, the CPU just cannot keep up with the, uh, keep up with the damage. Or, or the attacker cannot keep up with the damage. So that's the good thing about it. And then one more fast spell. Where is it? Oh, I lost it. Oh, there it is. And Edge is the last one that needs it. Alright, so now we're pretty much good there. So at this point, viewers, um, you do not want to, um, at this point, or not, you do not want to, but, um, Fasoya and Rosa are pretty much not gonna be very useful. Rydia's basically dealing the, or healing us the most, so, and dealing the most damage, so that's the important thing about Sylph, yeah. Sylph in this battle, this is probably the most useful battle Sylph can be. Yeah, I, I highly, this is why I highly recommend getting Sylph. It is very useful for this battle, so just make sure you have Sylph, and this battle will go by in a breeze. Yeah, Sylph, it just can deal a lot of damage, and since the defender's gone, it's not going to be healing that, da uh, that damage that we do with Sylph, so that's why you want to get rid of the get rid of the defender. Alright, um, uh, just parry there, Fasoya, you're not really that useful. And if we get Cecil and Edge, we should almost have the CPU. I mean, I think maybe one, maybe two more Sylphs, but we should, ha uh, have it on its last legs here, so. Come on, Rydia, come on, Sylphs! Show me what you can teach me! Get it? Cause Sylvan, Sylvan Learning, ne never mind. Is Sylvan Learning Center a thing that's like local or is it like around the US? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, since we got the CPU, we can kill off the attacker there. And really, it's really easy there, so yeah. Yeah, it, you, I'm glad we took out its core, because if we took out the regular Giant of Babiel, that would be another story altogether, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, after years. Oh, after years. Anyway, so as you can see there, CPU, the core, not that strong of a core. You'd think it'd be a lot stronger, but obviously not. Heck, I think I had more of a challenge from the four fiends back there. Alright, we got it. So, that's pretty much it. The giant Babil's dead. We stuck Kane? Um, game, I think you mean Rosa? Kane's not even with us right now. I, 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 sometimes, viewers, one of, some of these, uh, Final Fantasies, they accidentally, um, 
Like, I know in Final Fantasy V, they did this with uh, Lena, and she wasn't even in your party. And it was really someone else talking, and they accidentally put the wrong name. <laughs> One of my nitpicks with the, uh, with, uh, Final Fantasy IV through VI there, it, it, or one through six, really. They don't really pay attention to the names once in a while, but that's only a nitpick, and really I could care less about that. It's still, in my eyes, almost a per- it's pretty much a perfect game in my eyes, so... Anyway, got the CPU. What? Who's that? Heh, <laughs> Golbez. Oh, what are you gonna do about it? We have Fasoya on our side. We have a Lunari- Actually, we have one and a half Lunarians on our side. Ha 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 ha. What is it, Fasoya? Alright, Golbez was kind of being controlled. You're trying to help him out there. Oh, I thought you were gonna slap him. I thought, you know, wake up slap? No? Alright. Alright, Fasoya, how did it do? Did you get him out of his confusion or his. What is it? His. Sleep or. Or. Conf... Never mind. I don't know, why did you have all that hatred? You just wanted the power, you wanted to go to the moon! Father's name? What was your father's name, Golbez? What the? Kluya? But that means... Cecil's dad was Kluya? So that only means one thing! His brother? What the? Man! I remember the first time I played the game, I actually, I, I mean, I sorta saw it coming, but it really caught me by surprise there. <laughs> it, it is just, it's so well done how they uh, foreshadow up to this point that Golbez is Cecil's brother. Like, back in the Tower of Zot when he tri when he was gonna kill Cecil, but he, he hesitated and held back? Remember that, viewers? Just all that foreshadowing up to that point, up to this point, has led to the fact that that's the reason why Golbez didn't kill Cecil. He knew deep down that they were related. Who would have guessed? Well, actually, a lot of you probably guessed, but still. Ah, oh, that makes sense. So since Golbez, if he's Cecil's brother, that means Golbez also is half Lunarian. So, well, that would make sense. Zemis is Lunarian, Golbez has Lunar Lunarian blood, so... Well, that means Cecil could have probably been controlled, too. It's just the luck of the draw, that's too bad. Man! It's crazy, man. Yep, Cecil, how do you feel? Or, sorry, I gotta do it right. How does that make you feel? Th this looks like something it would be on Dr. Phil, wouldn't it? Found out they, they were long lost brothers. How are they? How are they acting towards each other? Uh, yes, Golbez. We we've been through this a few times already. Yeah, yes. That's a, just the luck of the draw. It's too bad. Aw, Golbez, don't you sell yourself short? You're still an awesome villain. I mean, you're pretty awesome for a villain. One of my favorite villains of all time. Golbez. Where are you going? Yeah, where are you going, Golbez? <laughs> Golbez, okay, I know you're powerful and all, but Zemis had you under his control this whole time. Are you sure you'll be able to handle yourself? I, I mean, Golbez, I mean, you, you have so much to live for, man. What is it, Fasoya? Aw, but Fasoya, that means we'll only have four party members. Oh well, it was fun while it lasted. Alright, Fasoya, Golbez, good luck! They wish you luck! See you, Golbez! See you, Fasoya! Oh, yes, that's all. He is your brother, you know. You can't just let him go like that. He might die! I mean, yeah, you've been fighting each other up to this point in the game, but. I mean, still, he's your brother. I mean, forgive and forget, I always say. Did they make it? Oh, yeah, they. I think they have made it clear that uh, Golbez is the older of the two. He's the eldest brother. Yes, Cecil. Right. 
Right, Cecil. I like how blunt Rudy is. She's very blunt in the game. I mean, not like a mean blunt, but like a... Just kind of like a obvious blunt, you know? It, it's kind of humorous to me. I mean, not... It, it just... I don't know, viewers. I don't know. Oh, all right. Dude, we kind of destroyed its core. Kind of forgot about the whole fact that we're in the giant mobile and we're almost going to lose our lives because it's going to collapse. But hey, we just found out Golbez is Cecil's brother. Well, let me see. Getting out of here with our lives in one hand, or making sure Golbez doesn't kill himself. Hmm. I think we should probably get out of here. Yep, sounds like a good idea. Can we get out of here? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. This is Super Zemis, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.